Can you talk a little bit about that man-to-man -man defense in the first half? Uh, yeah, first of all, let me just thank God for this opportunity for both teams to come out and play. We don't take this for granted, and, and we just say God is good. But, um, yes, we, I thought we played really hard defensively in the first half, uh, throughout the game, actually. And we kind of wanted to take them out of some of the things they like to do, and I thought our guys played with a great edge tonight. Do you think this was your most complete game defensively? Uh, it's, it's up there, but I don't know if it's the best. And uh, just talk about the way you guys were able to uh, keep getting stops there, even in the first quarter when it seemed like your offense was struggling a little bit, uh, just to uh, keep the momentum and really never give them a chance or make them feel like they had a chance. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what we're, we're built on. I mean, if you if you stop your opponents, you know, I think, you know, you will give yourself an opportunity to win, whether you're good offensively or bad, but if you can just stop them, and that's what we talk about. You can't control if the ball is going to go in the hoop, but you can control your defensive effort and, and your rebounding effort. And so that's what we wanted to do until our offense came along a little bit. Where do you feel about where you guys are at from this matchup compared to the last time you played them? I think we've gotten better, um, definitely. I mean, we've got some guys with more experience under their belt. And then you got to also look at we're playing with one, our, a starter tonight. And so, um, you know, we, we, I, like, I like our group. But let me, let me give uh, credit to also to, to Nate and his group. I mean, I mean this is probably – not where they wanted to end up, but they're, they're a good team. He's got this program moving in the right direction. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they're going to be forced to be reckoned with. And I want to congratulate Dan Beckman on the on, on his honor tonight. I mean, that's I didn't get to see it, but it's well deserved. Talk about how uh, playing three games in five days prepares you for the tournament. It does. That's why we do it. Uh, it's a great question. We, we, we try to put three games in, in a week because if you're going to, if you're fortunate enough to, to make a run, you got to play three games in a week and you got to be able to, to do it in a way that you can stay fresh. And also being able to have a quick turnaround around with the scouting reports and being able to retain all of the, of the information that we're, we're giving out. So I guess kids did an ex exceptional job of, of retaining that and, and getting through these three games. These were some three tough games. <laughs> What's the update on Sane when will he be back? Uh, you know what, I think he, he'll be back uh, maybe Friday. Uh, we just didn't want to push it tonight. I mean, he's feeling a little better. But we're looking at the long game. We're looking at, you know, uh, down the stretch. We don't want to rush him. Um, we had already clinched the ch conference title, um, so we didn't want to jeopardize anything by him having a setback and pushing him out here too early. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.